The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell the truth, it is better for you that I go. If I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father. And you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so as we gather for our morning Mass today, we hear very interesting readings. Interesting to hear that it is the jailer in the Acts of the Apostles. It's the jailer who asks the prisoners, what do I need to be saved? Today's readings have something of liberation in it. We see Paul and Silas in prison, locked up, yet singing their prayers, delighting in God's glory, aware of God being so close to them, even when they're confined. And even that night when there's the earthquake and the jail falls down, the prisoners are there. They don't go away. And it's they who in turn save their jailer, he and his family being baptized. There is something in liberation there, their freedom, their prison removed, yet their desire to stay with the Lord. Today we have something of impending liberation in the Gospel reading, Jesus telling his disciples that he must leave, that he must go to the Father, and that it is only when he goes to the Father that he will send the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit will free them to continue his mission. On the day we were baptized, there was something of liberty and freedom offered to us. Our sins were wiped away. And then, carried by our parents most likely, we were sent out into the world. We renewed and confirmed those promises and hopes for ourselves on Confirmation Day. And every time we come to this season of the year, of Easter and Easter time, and as we near Ascension and Pentecost, there's that growing awareness of the freedom of spirit that has been given to us, that we are sent out to be the good news. In these Easter days, we as always reflect on how we're living our Christian lives. Our Christian lives, of course, changed by the recent captivity of being confined to staying at home, of not being able to gather in this beautiful sacred space. But please, God, we're nearing days when you will be able to enter and when we will be able to gather as a community physically present in the church. We reflect on how the Spirit gives us that freedom, that freedom to be his witnesses, and perhaps that freedom to be his witness today at home with whoever we share our home with. We think of the words, our thoughts, our actions over the course of this day. Or if we're going to work, our words and actions there. Lord, help us to recognize the freedom you have given us. You place before us life and death, blessing and curse. Help us always to choose life as you guide and protect us in these days. We turn to you with confidence and hope in your presence 
and life within us.